Now, as I said, London is not a city. It's two cities. The city of London, that's where we are now, which is the London. And we spend our money in Westminster because it's the city of London which has all the banks. And, it, and Westminster is also where the government is, where the Prime Minister lives, where the Queen lives. So you can see, Link, uh, Rex out. Now, those of you at the front already starting to get a glimpse of St. Paul's Cathedral. Everybody's going to see it on the left side of the coach soon. This new set of buildings here on the left is London Stock Exchange. You're going to say, oh, this is very Chota. What Chota Stock Exchange, London Stock Exchange? Why? Because everything is computerized now, you see? So this is the London Stock Exchange inside the building on the left. Turn left, please, here. Now, as we go down this road, you're going to see on the right side some of the buildings where the clergy, the priests who work in St. Paul's Church live, because we're very close now to St. Paul's Church. As I was saying, St. Paul's Church was the, the one you're going to see is the fifth St. Paul's on the site and it was built to replace the fourth one which burned down in the Great Fire. So you see some clergy live in this building now, right men? Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to take a picture of St. Paul's Cathedral on the working Anglican Protestant Church. Here it is on the left. What a beautiful building, huh? This building was built between 1675 and 1710 to replace the fourth one which burned down and it's the place where the Duke of Wellington is buried as well. So the great and the good, major heroes. So nice and slow please Robert here, thank you. The Queen in front is Queen Anne, Queen Anne who was on the throne when it was built. She paid the architect his salary and if you come around and look at the side you will see that it's been cleaned. The cleaning cost is 40 million and the actual building cost was only 600,000 in 71710. If you can look up, you will see the great dome. Everybody will see the dome because when we stop it, look up for the dome, 578 steps to go to the top of the dome. Everybody will see the dome either here or from a distance might be invested here. So to the left side, please, uh, Robert. Okay. If you can close your window, please, Robert, because of beautiful road medieval London was like this ladies and gentlemen on the left look at that little road going inside they're all pedestrianized yeah and if you keep looking left after not this first set of lights but the second set of lights so please keep behind the bus Robert uh, you will see two cities as I told you 31 municipalities as well so look in a little while to the left just after the light this church is one of the Christopher Wren churches. He built 51 churches to replace 90 churches burned after the fire. On the left, the city hall. And keep very slow, please, Robert, just for a little while. There's the city hall. And remember at the beginning of the those little bits of wall by the steps are a Roman temple dating from the second century AD. So there's the proof that London was a Roman city, you see. And they found it. You see this big building built in the 50s when they excavated the foundations? They found it. If you dig, about 20 feet below the surface of the city. Anywhere you'll find Rome. Lord Mayor of London. And the Lord Mayor of London is appointed every year a different person. And London Bridge, the London Bridge is falling down, London Bridge. We're going to cross over if we're lucky. It doesn't fall down. So on left of coach, anybody interested in money in, the, in this bus? Yes? Apart from Robert. This is the Bank of England. And look, Kutch window Nihe. Why? Because it's got gold inside, you see? And you don't want anybody to steal the gold, right? So the gold reserves of England are in there, paper, bank notes and everything. So this is so that's why there's no windows. Bank of England, Central Bank. Now we're coming near to the place. 80% of the city burned down and it was all the maid's fault. Always the maid, isn't it? Huh? This is the east of the city, so that's why five days and five nights it burned non-stop and 100,000 people were left homeless and they had to rebuild this. Everybody, monument to the Great Fire. So left side, left side, okay? You've got a big column, the world's tallest freestanding column. You can just pause here as long as no one comes out, it's okay. And that column marks the place where the Great Fire wow. broke out. Yeah. Look at the bottom. Can you see a map represents the city of London with the flames behind her? So that's the monument to the Great Fire of London built in 1677 
by Sir Cam River Thames. River Thames. That's what we're crossing. We're on London Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the road sign. London Bridge on left. And Tower Bridge, the symbol of London. Wow. So what we're going to do, we're going to park and we're going to walk up close so you can all get souvenir photo close by. Okay, so we're going London to go close up. The one that was so down. Tower Bridge was built in 1894. <laughs> the gunboat in front of it was built in 1936 before, before partition, before independence of India. It's the Tower of London where the Queen's crown jewels are kept. So more information about that, when we get off the coach, you're going to all see it close. At the bottom of this bridge, you can see a dragon. Left side and right side, both sides, you have a dragon. At every entrance to the city, symbolically, to protect it. So um, this dragon here is saying goodbye to us because we came south of the river. Isn't it much more modest? That's because this is a place where they used to have factories in the old days. They used to be subject to flooding of the river. It's where Shakespeare's Globe Theatre is, not far from here, where he used to... 350,000 people come every day to work, so if you... But the weekday, full. Nowhere to put your... Nowhere to stop walking, huh? And if you look at the top... Why? Ah, they're not allowing us to park in... The next road, maybe? See how the left side there is a road. So left here please Robert, you can see as we come over the Tower Bridge, Harvard, who named Harvard University in America, he studied, in a, his mum sold their pub to pay for his, if you look through the window, you can see at the front, lovely view of the Tower Bridge built 1894, where the flags are, the HMS Belfast, St. Paul's Cathedral Dome, River Thames, and this used to be the Port of London, this area here. Where the boats are now was the Port of London, but after the arrival of containerization, they couldn't get the boats up the river. They, they're too big to come up the river now. Now we're in the opening part. We have to hope it doesn't open while we're here. This is the opening part. So Tower of London, where the Queen's crown jewels are kept. And this is where the this executions the took place that I was telling you about while we were looking at the river. The outside wall was built by King Edward I. If any of you have seen the film Braveheart, The Hammer of the Scots, Edward I, he built this wall. You can see down below there was a moat, which is now a beautiful lawn. The moat was drained because people used to throw their rubbish in there. And because of that rubbish, the famous ravens of the tower arrived. And they used to eat the dead dogs and cats and rats and things floating in the moat and all the quality lives. Links up, links up, links up. So the Bangladeshi community, they got a lot of nice Bangla restaurants and things in this area. Here, if you look outside, you can see them. Tower of little windows at the corner, you can see that they are houses. They live behind this wall. They have homes right here. Execution breakfasts and watch the people being executed while they ate their meals. It was very jolly. I'm glad to say we don't do it anymore, by the way, as well. On the left, a nice view of the warship. The top of it, it's nice. 300 steps, where the great fire broke out. And it finished in Pi Corner. So, because of you living in Canada, America, you'll know pudding and pie, typical Western food. People in London thought it was a sign from... 
now the church built by Sir Christopher Wren. And you can see the date it was constructed on the clock. See the clock over the door on the right? By the Germans. Only the tower remains. That's why. Churches are here. 51 churches in the city of London. All together in England. Only God knows, I think. <laughs> Only God can count them. So, off. Dead modern gallery. Look at the big chimney a little behind you. A little behind you. This is the Tate Modern Gallery, the big tall chimney and the brick building. Gallery of Modern Art opened in 2000 by the Queen. And before, but also it's high tide. This is a tidal river. Seven meters difference, 20 feet difference between high tide, low tide. Keep to the right lane, please, uh, Robert. We're going to go over Waterloo Bridge today. Also, please look. So we're going to go for that. We're going to so get camera, keep cameras ready all the time. And we go. What we're going to do next is go over that bridge, and we're going to drive by London. And that was where they shot the Gringotts Bank in the first Harry Potter film. Harry Potter went to the Gringotts Bank to take stage, concert, everything. And we're going to cross over the river. So get camera ready if you if you go to the theatre and see a play or a musical next time you come. Please, Robert, we don't want to stop at income tax. Okay, you can slow down now, we're past it. Right side of the coach, Big Ben, Parliament and Westminster. Whichever side you want to go, you already know all about the left. Lovely view of the Dome of St. Paul's. Some naked men, I'm so sorry, I did ask them to put clothes on them. Look to the right for a lovely view of Big Ben and London Eye at the same time, on the right side. All the way around to the right, please, Robert is the IMAX cinema, one of those 360 degree cinema. Better to go before you have traffic, yeah? After dinner is no good, before dinner is better. Because it may, I, I don't know about you, but it makes me very dizzy, the cinema. And I don't know if any of you are oil barons or oil magnets, but you might be liking cars. And I'm afraid that's all they make. Shareholders are very upset. This year they have to do better. Okay, so um, it's one of it's the largest European company. I don't know if it's the most profitable because some of the banks are though is uh, it's American. So I'm talking Europe. The sun cost 13 pounds per person, and you can see the because she didn't agree with the mayor of London. He was a communist and she was conservative. About 10 years. I must say it worked very well without the mayor. Yes, but not much. The mayor who was a communist left, coming all the way around, we're going to cross over the famous Westminster Bridge, next to Parliament and Big Ben, on our way to go and see Ballas. There is a long wait, of course. So, on the right, London Eye on right side, ahead you can see Big Ben, and left side is the Parliament building. So, London Eye, right view of the Houses of Parliament, built between 1834 and 1858 to replace the buildings that were burned down in a fire of 1834. Wow. The That's green big. canopy is on the left. This is where Gordon Brown, the present Prime Minister, is working. Summertime, it's the recess at the palace. On the left side, you can see now the House of Parliament. Big the big building is the only original part of the building. Can you see how they've closed the road ahead and on the left? You can no longer go there. And at the bottom of the road on the left, you can see the Victoria Tower, which is where the Queen goes in to wow. open Parliament, on uh -huh. the left. Keep looking left, because you'll now see the crowd, wow. and it's where uh -huh. Princess Diana's funeral was held in 1997. Um, you'll have to go... So, looking now on the left, you'll see the entrance to the Westminster Abbey with the statues of Christian martyrs above the door. Now is the time that they're having the evening prayers. The man in the red coat is... 500 years to build. The newest part are these twin towers this side built in 1730. Bones. Yeah. And there's 4,000 memorials as well. So we go. So that's a tight turn for Robert. Side. There you are. You can see the sign turning. Each school had a unit. It's there, of course. The palace is, of course, the London home of the Queen when she's in London, and she usually calls it my office. On the way, the Wellington Barracks, where the Queen's... I might not be looking, I might be looking the wrong way. 